switch over and mute this as soon as it comes up. I was watching Twitch a little bit earlier today. Um, anyway, uh, welcome. Thaddeus here. Low Tech Magic. Uh, we're moving on to, it looks like, uh, episode welcome, 20. And, um, okay, now we're muted. Sorry about that. Uh, so, uh, I did find another village. Uh, I think I mentioned that previously. And so, um, before we head over and do some of the stuff at, uh, at the base today, uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, some people to become permanent visitors. Uh, I made two more golden lassos. So here we've got uh, DeWitt, the weaponsmith, and Emma, the librarian, and they are married. So uh, we're going to go ahead and take them over. They are, uh, so we've got ourselves a married couple, and then I think I'll grab a guard. Um, oh, let's see. Now, are you married, Doria? Uh, you are not married. Um, so I could take a butcher, okay? And then, um, I definitely want to take at least one guard. Uh, let's see. Who do we have? We've got Billy. Um, we've got Atel. Hmm. Now, I'm familiar with the name Ethel, but, uh, let's see. There was a couple of others... Here, Rochelle, and there was one more that looked like Rochelle, I thought. Um, yeah, we'll just, we'll go and we'll take Rochelle. So, we're basically transplanting some of the villagers from here, and um, I came over with my slime sling. You can see it's, uh, it's not really far, but it is a, a decent distance by hoof. Um... And uh, one of the things that I, I forgot to show you guys last time was um, I, I had talked about what helped me to really survive when I was in the nether. Uh, one of those things that really helped me survive... Um, uh, why is that not updating again? Sorry, guys. Something weird happening here on my Twitch page. Um... Anyway, so uh, I just wanted to say that uh, uh, there were a couple of things that I did besides just making the armor is I made uh, not some baubles, but uh, something that may uh, look like baubles uh, in that it is from the RPG mod, the RPG inventory mod. Um, I made myself a speed ring, which is just gold. Um, with a gold nugget for the top there. And it gives me a speed increase of 12.5%. But I also gave myself a health necklace, which uh, increases my healing. And without the, the health necklace in particular, I don't think I would have survived the nether to get all my stuff back. But um, here, let me, let me kind of show you the, uh, the difference in the speed here. So here we are. This is just normal speed, and here I'm running. But uh, then if we go and we put the speed ring back on, then this is my normal walk, and then uh, my speed run is uh, really a lot faster. So anyway, I am going to go ahead and head back to base. Ow, bees. I was like, what was that? <laughs> I was looking for some poison ivy, but thankfully it was just bees stinging me, you know? Uh, let's see. just want to make sure I'm not going to land in lava when I do this. And uh, sometimes the server says, uh, no, you can't do that because it thinks I'm, I'm cheating or something and moving too fast. Which is kind of interesting, I think. Um, I kind of thought about maybe setting up a, uh, a nether portal network to get there, but I, uh, I don't think I'll be going... Uh, back and forth between the two locations. Uh, let's see, and we're going to yellow. Uh, green is the other village over there, so we'll be all right. Almost there. Uh, it's almost like skipping stones across the uh, the water there. So um, I did go to the Nether, and uh, I got six more necrotic bones. So we're going to go ahead and get the uh, what is that? Um, Noctanix, I believe it's called. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll we'll get that alloy going, so that uh, we can mine up the meteorite, 
That is the uh, the next. There's cause in that. Uh, meteorite is the next tier of uh, metal that we want to be able to mine up. And once we get that, then uh, you know we'll we'll see where we go from there. Hello, horse. So from here, I can pretty much just bounce my way over. Can't imagine trying to to do this without the boots, man. I love these boots. And thankfully, with the adamantine armor, I uh, I still have plenty enough to survive. Also, um, I, I kind of wish I had done this on stream yesterday. I had killed a Minotaurus, and uh, as soon as she died, she spawned a Minotaur, which is a boss. And so that was kind of interesting. He had a lot of health. I would not have survived without the the ring of speed and the health necklace because he, he would have just destroyed me. The armor certainly helped, but it wouldn't have been enough without having the other two uh, items. So let's go ahead and make the uh, spectral stuff. Actually, we're going to be able to sleep here in just a second. Um, and you can see that my other tree grew here, so that was pretty nice. I just don't want uh, all the zombies and everything to come out while I am uh, getting them ready for uh, for the villagers. Uh, so I took some of the Tiberium that uh, I picked up, and I made nine ingots, and then I made this Tiberium block. And I can't mine it. Um, <laughs> it'll show progression with a shovel and uh, an axe, but not with, uh, with my pickaxe. So uh, I'm going to try once uh, we upgrade to the Noctinix, see if I can get it. But uh, I honestly don't have very high hopes for that. I... Uh, <laughs> It does produce light, but it's pretty much, uh, I would say, very, very strong. Okay, so we need um, six redstone and six glowstone. Yep. Uh, you know, I can just do it here in my uh, small craft here, right? Um, or do I, maybe I have to make the luminar dust first. Um, I know that they can just be combined. Come on. Okay, for some reason it doesn't want to do it in that crafting grid. Oh, because I need to make the make it glimmer stone. That's why I. I knew I needed three items, but uh, I forgot what the third one was. All right, how much of this did I get? Oh, and I ended up getting a lot of blaze rods while I was there, uh, as you can see. Um, five's not enough. Let's go ahead and just uh, crank out three of these. There they are. And um, I went ahead and finished the blast furnace and furnace and it has been making blocks of steel uh, let's see do I have any more uh, where is I think that may be all the the uh, uh, coal coke I had so let's go ahead and make some more uh, how about we do I guess a stack of coal uh, the only problem is I'm going to run into is that this is going to fill up with creosote oil. So um, I'm going to need to put it somewhere, uh, and that means a tank. So uh, that's one of the reasons why I need the steel is so I can make the tanks. Um, 
And I took out the door here because uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw in... Uh, what do I need? I'm going to need eight of these. One more there. And I'm going to need... Well, here's five obsidian. I'm going to need a total of eight. Uh, some of you may know what it is I'm going to make. Uh, we'll get to that momentarily. So... Did I leave that over here? Yeah, it's still in there. Okay. So, now we've got the uh, the glimmer stone. Now we get the spectrum dust. There we go. Alright, so I need to go and get some more... Um, obsidian. Let's get... Um, two draw... Uh, two drawers. Two ender pearls. And I'm going to need some wool. How much string do I have here? I'll just grab a stack here. And we'll go ahead and we'll make uh, two wool. Because that's all I really need. All right. Let's go ahead and sleep through the night here. I'm going to talk to Techno. The um, server's been getting a little bit sluggish on me. Um, might be time for the hardware to be uh, restarted. I'm just refreshing my Twitch page here real quick. Make sure everything is doing what it's supposed to do. Wow, that's so weird. I can't uh, can't scroll down any further on my page for some reason. Weird. All right, so. Let's go ahead and grab a little bit more of this obsidian. We need a total of eight. And let's throw in our glimmer coal. Or, sorry, spectrum dust. Uh, and then that will help us to get the noctinix we need. In the meantime, I am going to make first an ender chest. Uh, so I will need uh, two chests. I think I might have those in here. Do you have any chests in there? No, I don't. I think I might have some in here. No, I guess I got rid of them. Yeah, we'll just uh, we'll make some chests here. So if you uh, if you thought I was making an ender chest. You are correct. There it is. So, uh, we are going to make one ender chest. Since I'm the only one on the server right now, white, white, white is just fine. And then we're going to make an ender pouch. So, we need three leather. Do I have any leather in here? Of course not. If I did, that would make sense. Alright, so this stuff should definitely be ready. We now have... Um, so we still have some spectrum fluid. We have titanite. So we're going to need to put some more mithril in there. Because I don't see... Yeah, there's no other mithril in there. So let's go get some more mithril and some titanite. Along with some leather. And then we'll go ahead and we'll get both of these things up and running. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and take this and... I'm planning on putting it here. Um, it can still be opened, even though there's a block on top of it. Uh, that's one of the features of an ender chest. So let's grab three of you. Let's make our ender pouch. Oh, this one is blaze powder instead of blaze rods. I didn't realize that. That's a good thing I made some more. Uh, patch. There we go. So the advantage to this is when I open the pouch, it accesses the ender chest because they have the same color code. And then I will be using... Uh, where is it? Are they still in here? Uh, I'll be using transfer pipes and a transfer node to pull items out of the ender chest 
and automatically feed into my storage system and that will allow me when I'm in the nether or on a mining trip or whatever to just send it automatically back. So what we needed was some more mithril and I've only got one left but that should be enough. Uh, Titanite is here. I'll go ahead and I'll take another one but I don't think I'll need it. And that should do it. And so I didn't need the extra obsidian, I guess. I thought I was going to need more obsidian to make that. I guess only if I had done more chests. So let's throw the mithril in there and let's go ahead and pull out our villagers. So I think the first thing we'll do is... Um, this one I think is the guard. Nope. All right, so that's the married couple there. So then we've got uh, Rochelle the guard, and then we have uh, Doria the butcher. So a nice little, um, I guess, variety, I guess, uh, for the village. Um, I've started putting some... Uh, uh, armor stands with some armor in here. Um, eventually, I'll go ahead and I'll give them all a specific home, I think. Uh, and then I'll have, like, you know, they'll have their own armor and, and stuff like that. I think that'll be kind of neat. Okay, two ingots of Noctinix. So, we are going to make a sharpening kit out of this. Uh, there's no reason for me to actually change my uh, pickaxe head when I can just add this to it. Do I have any flint in here? No. Really? Not even any gravel, huh? How about in here? Hey, good to see you too there, DeWitt the Weaponsmith. Now, one of the reasons why I chose DeWitt is, um, as a Weaponsmith, if I go to trade with him, uh, ooh, seven iron for an emerald. I need emeralds, because I don't, I don't have any emeralds. Man, if I could find somebody who, uh, who actually wanted, uh, fireworks, I would be set. I would have more emeralds than I would know what to do with. Okay, so now we come over here and we are going to take our lovely cobalt pickaxe with the Noctinix sharpening kit and one piece of flint. And now we will be able to mine meteorite. Um, also, you'll notice uh, the, uh, the cleaver, it's fully repaired and has... 100 uh, stored XP to uh, repair itself. Also, the longbow. Uh, it's... I tell you, being in, being in combat with this amount of uh, zombies that show up at night makes it really, really easy. Speaking of zombies... Hello, zombies. Goodbye, zombies. <laughs> okay. Um... So I'm kind of happy with, uh, with getting this done today. Um, so now I'm going to need to figure out, do I want to marry the butcher or the guard? Um, the guard is more likely to get killed, so maybe I should start schmoozing with the, uh, the butcher here. Um, let's just chat with her. <laughs> you don't believe it exploded on its own. Ha ha ha. Oh, that's funny. Um, how about, uh, how about I tell you a joke? That's funny. Did you hear the one about the cows? <laughs> okay, so this is going well. Um, it's probably too early for me to give her the, uh, the wedding ring, but let's go ahead and try. Um, it's been sitting here since for a long, long time. Um... So, she's in a silly mood. How about if I... Oh, coal for emeralds. That's kind of nice. Emeralds for cooked pork chops. Wow. She's, uh, she's definitely a moneymaker, isn't she? Uh, let's... Uh, 
is okay there's no special interact uh, gift isn't that it uh, right clicking while it's selected I'm flattered but I don't really know you okay so she's not she's not ready apparently uh, maybe I should give her some eggs or some cake or something there's actually a wedding cake that you can make um, let's see Ooh, how about some raw rabbit maybe she'd like that I mean she's a butcher gift want some raw rabbit this isn't a good gift oh no um okay i'm sorry about that uh <laughs> let, let me give her some of this nice armor that i've been saving here uh it's a unbreaking two leather cap fire protection leather pants protection three feather falling four leather boots maybe she'll like those better um, they're probably more fit for a guard, but, yeah, who knows? Maybe she'll like it. Um, gift, how about I give you that? Sh she doesn't want that either. Um, what would a butcher want? Um, maybe some leather? I, I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll have to try and come up with something. Um, <laughs> in the absence of uh, being able to get that taken care of, I want to talk about how, um, how we're going to get these things connected here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some of this off. And what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to start using uh, micro blocks for this. Or um, sometimes they're called micro blocks or... Um, or it comes from the forge multi-part. So depending on what mod you're using for this, um, let's see, where did I put that? Yeah, so we've got the iron saw here and we've got stone bricks. Um, I don't know, do, do you think she would like uh, cooked rabbit better? I, I have no idea what she would like. I'll have to figure that out. Um, hey, there's the guard. Um, she might like this stuff. Uh, sure, let's, uh, let's give it to her. I mean, I definitely want to, uh, to give this stuff to, uh, people here. So, gift here, you can have that. See, she thinks it's a good gift. So, now I'll chat with her. Man, cookies and milk does sound delicious right now. So, maybe, uh, maybe I'll hook up with Rochelle then. Anyway, um, so where is transfer node here? So we're going to put this on the back side here. And then we will take our transfer pipes. I'm going to need to be able to access this as well. And I'm going to start with the top here and have it make its way down. Um, and then when we get to here, you see how they're connecting to each other? I don't want that because then instead of having a single path that it can go down, it will try to go down um, multiple paths. It'll have more places to look. It's kind of like the way um, the, uh, the internet works. So I'm not sure if I can use this one. Okay, good, I can. So when we right click, it makes it one way. And then if we have two that are one way, then they uh, disconnect. So that is basically our goal is to uh, go ahead and get this set up. And then we're going to take uh, some of these stone bricks here and saw goes there. Uh, first we're going to change them into slabs and then we'll turn them into panels and then we'll turn them into covers. So uh, with the covers, covers can be placed um, oh I guess they can't be placed there anymore. I thought they could be. I thought they could share a block. I thought these were multi-part compatible. 
I guess not. Okay. Um, so it's definitely going to make the road look weird. That's okay. Uh, I guess I will have to change the the road anyway um, because obviously this path is is a pain to uh, to keep up hey you still hanging out I'll tell you what uh, how about some pants I got some pants for you you want some pants oh look at that that's a heart I think that means she likes me um, here let me uh, let me give you a gift of some pants you like those pants I like those pants too Bye, Rochelle. I could say something, but I'm just going to let it go. All right. <laughs> so um, at this point, uh, we're looking at a lot of things that I'm going to be doing uh, off screen, like getting this all set up. Uh, probably um, the easiest way for me to kind of show how this is going to work is uh, for me to just grab, uh, where is my pouch? So if I open up my uh, my ender pouch here and I throw my dirt in there, then I can come over and you'll see that it's in there. And then it's being picked up here by the transfer node. And then it's going to end up here in our drawers. So um, I'm going to have a lot of work ahead of me to get that done um, so that... Uh, I can get all of these connected and then obviously I'm going to need to add in some more drawers because I've got more items than I currently have space for that need to go into drawers for storage and um, especially since I'm gonna need to go and do a lot more mining now let's see speaking of mining let's see I have a bit of a mine Oh, I forgot to close the gate. So over here, uh, let's see. I think I think I was just using this here as the entrance. Yeah. So down here there should be an area. Let's see. So vibranium I still can't get. That's to be expected. Um, bismuth I was already able to get. Uh, more vibranium. So much vibranium. I, I, I honestly don't know why there's so much vibranium in the world. Let's see. You know, I will have to find some of that meteorite and, um, and show it to you guys. Oh, yeah, this is where I met the original uh, skeleton there. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Uh, let's see, more vibranium. I've never actually mined meteorite, so I'm not all that familiar with what it looks like, honestly. Let's just go ahead and run down here. I know I've seen some. That's tin. Uh, ooh, carmesine I can get. That one is a meteorite level. This is one that I was not able to get before. So with the carmesine, uh, let's see, what, what does that give us? K-A-R. Um, so the carmesine gives us, with arcanite, I'm not sure if I can get arcanite yet or not, but with mithril and glimmer coal, then we can move up to proxidium. Um, so glimmer coal is um, lignite or coal and remember we've got a ton of lignite with the glimmer stone dust which of course we already made previously so that will get us moving on and let's see what was the so if we look at proxidium and if we look at the pickaxe head uh, it's lightweight, so that would increase mining speed. Still only does meteorite, but uh, as an alloy, it is lightweight, so that's something that we can definitely, definitely look at. Uh, if we look at a carmesine, uh, it 
meteorite with super heat which would set things on fire and may work as an auto smelt I'm not quite sure on that once we get to arcanite and energy endirium energy pearl uh, luminar dust wow that's kind of getting kind of expensive there uh, but this one here would give us on a pickaxe head curvature and can mine vibranium so that's what we need to go for is the uh, the arcanite <sighs> so many different things something can see me you can't kill me dude he can do very little damage to me what one of the things that uh, i was really kind of noticing while i was in the nether was with the uh the cleaver uh i'm one shotting most mobs there and even with the bow uh i'm one shotting most of them so other than the grimoire mobs uh the vanilla mobs aren't really much of a threat oh and also in the time that it took me to get oh there's the meteorite wow that's slow in the time it took me to get six more of those bones, uh, I got, I think, another 12 uh, wither skeleton skulls. I've got, I think, a total of 18 now. And uh, so the wither, that battle's coming. Definitely that battle is coming. Uh, aside from that... Um, I think uh, one of the next things, uh, not including dealing with the wither, uh, is going to be to set up a better mob spawning room. Um, and in some ways, I don't think I really need to, but I still kind of want to. Um, now, don't forget, one of the things that I can do with this, with the meteorite, is I can put it onto... Um, I make another one of the sharpening stones and uh, and put it on my... use the meteorite directly instead of uh, having to worry about getting more of the noctinix. So the noctinix is just like the first step so that I can get other meteorite level materials. Then I can use those to improve my tools a little bit and keep on moving forward. But we are uh, over the 30 minute mark here so I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. And uh, when we come back, I will uh, I'll show you guys a little bit more about some of the upgrades that I've been doing and uh, working towards some of the other stuff. So with that, guys, thank you for hanging out with me. Let me know if, uh, if there's something you guys want to see from a certain mod. Let me know uh, because I do need to start working towards more of the, um, the machinery. And now that I've got uh, good steel production, I think that'll really help. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next one.